Hi guys, it's Kirsten and in today's video, I'm going to be doing the best products of all time video. You guys know that I always use like the same products over and over again and I've had a couple people ask me what's the best foundation, what's the best concealer, what's the best lip product. So I'm going to be showing you all of my favorites today, I think of all time. So if you guys want to keep watching and know what the best products of all time, 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 then please keep on watching. So first, um, we're going to start off with primer. So if you guys know, I've been using a lot of illuminating primers recently just because summer's coming up soon and I really just like a nice dewy base, but honestly, in all realness, the best, best primer is the Benefit Professional. I'm sure you guys have seen this a million, billion, trillion times on YouTube because everyone in the whole world uses this, but honestly, this is the best, best pore filling primer I've ever used in my life. I don't have that many pores like over here, but the ones that I do have, they blur them right away. This I believe is a silicone based primer and a lot of those really help with blurring out pores over here and especially over here. I have a little bit of texture. Sometimes it's a little dry. When I put this over it, it honestly just blends everything nice and seamlessly together and it makes my foundation look nice and poreless. Get it? Professional. <laughs> now this is the little bottle. I just have the, like the little travel one but the big bottle it retails for $12 so that honestly is not that bad. I usually get this at like Sephora or Ulta and Honey, you gotta pick this up. Now for foundation, you guys, I'm sure already have like, all right, Kirsten, we already know, like skip to the next thing, like we already know. But my favorite, favorite, favorite foundation of all time is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundations. I have literally so many of them, it's ridiculous. But it's the best thing and the cheapest thing you guys can use for like, if you guys have clients and stuff like that. This is the best foundation I've ever used in my whole entire life. And trust me, I've tried a lot of foundations. It's so affordable and so... It's just amazing. They have two different types that you could use. So they have the matte and poreless and they have the dewy skin. I usually use the dewy skin just because I have a little bit of dryness over here because I don't like too much of like a matte finish. So I do like to use the dewy and smooth. I actually, I have two bottles of these because this one's running out. But um, yeah, so I have like a lot of different shades. I have my shade, I have a lighter shade, I have a darker shade. It's so, so, so affordable and they make your skin look perfect. I said in one of my videos that I actually have the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and as though I really like that foundation, it's 42 bucks and come on out, I'm really not trying to spend that much money. Even though I have in the past, trust me, and we all do, we all do. This I think is the best, best foundation for the price and I think it's even better than Estee Lauder Double Wear. So these foundations retail for $6. Usually you can get them at any drugstore, so Target, Walmart, uh, CVS, everything. I put these in the best drugstore video that I have a long time ago too. I'll put that in the description below. These are honestly perfect though. I can't, I can't trust it enough. I'm just freaking out over them because they honestly are the best foundation. So now for concealer, I'm sure you guys already know this one too. You guys are like already skipping over and if you're still here, then hey girl, hey. So the best concealer goes out to, drum roll please, you guys already probably see it. Shape Tape by Tarte. It's flawless, it's highlighting, it's Full coverage, everything is the best about this and it is a little pricey up there for concealer but you get so much product. I've had this for like I think a year and a half or something and I know stuff goes bad but um, sh but um, this is literally still not even like, it's like down to like the over here a little but I'm gonna get a new one. And this has .3381 fluid ounces, not that you guys even know or care what that even means but it really has more than any other concealer that I've ever had. You can even tell from outside the box. Everyone in their mothers have tried this, have seen it, have used it. It is the best concealer I could ever say I ever used. 
in my life and if I had a drugstore one I'd rather choose this if I had Essay Lauder Double Wear Concealer that's like way more expensive than this. I would still choose this. This is the best concealer I've ever used. This retails for $27. And although that's a little bit up there, there's more expensive concealers, honey. I mean, if you guys want to know all of the cheap alternatives to all of these products, then please look at the link in the description. I put a video a while back saying all of the favorite drugstore products of mine that are under $10. So make sure to go watch that. Now for powder, you guys probably already know this one too. I don't even know why I'm doing this video. You guys probably already know every single thing that I like, but it's the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I've tried numerous powders in the past, and I really, really, this is the only one I've stuck to. The Cody Airspun one is good also. This is the best powder I've ever used. It sets the under eyes just beautifully, and you get no flashback. This is just a very finely milled powder and it just sweeps over your skin nice and seamlessly, flawlessly. This is also a nude powder so it's not like totally white. That's why it also doesn't give you flashback and a white cast at the end. So this powder is a little bit up there. It's a little pricey but it retails for $38 and honestly I will never buy any other powder. This has actually lasted me so so long. You guys gotta go get this stuff if you don't have it already it's a game changer okay so now for brows I really really enjoy the Anastasia products all of the Anastasia products are literally my favorites I have the pomade the dip brow and then I have the pomade is a dip brow I'm stupid I have the pomade I have the brow powder duo and then I have the brow is and literally all three of them are just perfection the formula is just so so nice and creamy blends out perfectly you guys don't look like a block brow these got this is just perfect so I use the color chocolate so the brow powder duo retails for $23 which it's a little up there also but I think for such a good product I think it's so worth it the Dip Brow Pomade is $18, which is a little bit cheaper than the powder. Also, I use the powder more than I use the, pow the pomade. I have the pomade on today. It's a little bit more, like, if you want, like, a little bit more of a bold brow, but I think they're both perfect to have in the collection. And the Brow Wiz retails for $21. So, the cheapest thing is the pomade, but honestly, all three of them are perfect things. They have so much pigmentation and they're just so creamy that I just think they're so, so worth the money. Now for a eyebrow gel, I really like the Ardell Brow Building Fiber Gel and this is in the color medium brown. This keeps your brows in all day. It's a tinted brow gel so if you have really sparse brows and they're like really light and stuff like that, mine are really light. You just put a little bit of this on after you do your brows and it makes it so much better. They just look so put together, so natural, that it's just perfect. And this retails for $6. Like I said, I got it at Sally's, so it is a little bit affordable. But yeah, that is the best or the ABH brow one too. But this one has is tinted. Like I said, my eyebrows are really light, so this works out really, really good for me. So now for contour, you I don't know why I just said that with an accent. I differed between two different products. I was like, mm, which one's better? I couldn't choose, so I just picked both. I mean, honey, who cares? So I have the Hoola Bronzer here and the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. You guys know I use these two in my videos all the time. This is such a universal shade. They also have a lighter shade if you guys are a little bit lighter. But this, honestly, is just the perfect contour color. Perfect, perfect. And the Shade and Light Palette is also perfect because it has a highlight shade and three contour shades. Well, three highlight shades, three contour shades. So I usually use a mix between these two. And it's just perfect, perfect. The formulas are just so creamy and they blend out just so seamless. I don't have it on today, but... Um, you guys can see it in my previous videos. So the Shade and Light and the Hoola I purchased at Sephora. So the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette retails for $49 or sometimes you can get it at Marshalls or TJ Maxx for like $25. Just saying, look out. So that and then the Hoola by Benefit retails for $28. So they're both so worth the money guys, I'm telling you. Although these are all like 
high-end products they're all so worth the money and I can tell you I've been using these for years and years and I just keep repurchasing them because they're this just so perfect so now for highlight you guys probably already know what I'm gonna be picking of course my Nicole Guerrero palette this is the best highlighting palette hands down I have used and I know there's so many out there and I'm sure there's one way better than this one but this is my holy grail this is the best highlighting palette I have ever used in the whole entire world it's you can tell it's like literally a mess but there is so many different shades for every single different skin tone that it's just so perfect you can look glowy you can look a little pink you can look a little lit you know with a white and unfortunately this is discontinued it was a limited edition so hopefully they come out with another one but there is a dupe it's a color pop dupe um a little cheaper also but I'm not gonna tell you like guys the prices of this because like I said I think it was like $46 or something like that but it doesn't really matter because like I said this is continued but like I said there is a dupe I think for ColourPop or another one is the matte MAC soft and gentle mineralized skin finish one and that was really good too I use that in a lot of my videos also but this one honey let me just show you a swatch real quick so my favorite colors are forever young and glow getter so as you can see they're like so so pigmented but these two like come on now come on beautiful 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 Okay, so for blush, um, I don't really use blush that much, but when I do, I like a nice subtle blush. I don't like it too, too, like, out there. I'm, like, showing you the product, like, without saying it first. Are you kidding me? YouTuber moment, Kirsten. Great. I really like the MAC Pro Longwear Blush, and this is in Stubborn. They have so many shades. You need, like, the littlest bit unless you want to look like a clown but they are so so good these retail for $23 so it's a, honestly a little bit up there also but I think it's so worth it they have so so many different shades for different skin tones and I just think this is perfect so now for eyeshadows I'm going to show you guys my favorite eyeshadows so I have here all of my morphe palettes that I have I am obsessed with morphe um, this is not sponsored, obviously. Um, I hope it is. I wish it is. But um, hit me up, Morphe. But I literally am obsessed with Morphe palettes. They are so pig pigmented, so creamy, blend out so well. I just can't get over them. I have the 35K palette, the 35OM palette, and then I have the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, and they just go well with so many different eye looks you want to do. I, I could probably literally use all of these palettes for all of my eye looks because they're, they have so many shades. I'll show you guys a couple here. So this is the 35OM palette. So they have, there's just so many universal shades you guys can use for this. They have so many different palettes out there too. They have a really colorful one. They have, and they're so affordable. These were, this is a more neutral palette and then the Jaclyn Hill one the pan size is really good too so you get a good use out of them those palettes usually retail for $23 so you get all of those colors for $23 come on honey this was Oh my God. This freaking blush was like more money than that, than that whole palette. I mean, come on now. You can get them at morphebrushes.com and I just love those palettes. If you guys need a new palette to get or anything, get the Morphe ones. They're so affordable and they're so, so good. Now for eye primer. So I have been using this one for years. Everyone's used this, I'm sure. This is my favorite 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 primer and this is the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion and this is the in the original color it just comes out so nice and it sticks on your eyelid so that all the colors can stay all day long I use this every single time I put eyeshadow on not in my videos because I usually just put foundation but when I'm really trying to like keep my foundation keep my eyeshadow on like all day I use this this stuff wears for hours and hours and hours so this resales for about $22 it really depends where you get it 
I usually get this at Sephora and it's just so worth it. I just really like this primer. Okay, so now for liner. You guys have been asking what kind of liner that I use. So I always use the Kat Von D Tattoo Tuner. Tattoo Tuner. I cannot talk today. I'm about to put like bloopers and I literally cannot talk today. So I use the Tattoo Liner by Kat Von D. This is a waterproof liquid eyeliner and this is in the color Trooper. I also have a Maybelline one, but this one is so much better. The tip is so precise that you can just get like that perfect line. You know what I'm saying? Like you can... It's like a knife, you can just cut it, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, this is so black, so pigmented, and it just works so, so well. This retails for $20. Okay, so for mascara, I'm sure you guys also know this one too. I have been using for months and months. I've literally known that this is the best mascara I've ever used. And it's so, so cheap that it just makes it so much better. So this is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. It works so well. I'll show you the wand also. It's more like a plastic wand and it just has little bristles on it to just pick up all every single one of your lashes and it literally gets every single one of them. It makes your lashes so voluminous, so long, so black. It. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite mascara of all time. I'll never buy any other mascara. This retails for about $7, so that's also a really good deal because before I was getting the Too Faced Better Than Sex and it was like $23 like every two months, so no thank you, and that one would dry up really quickly. So this has been in my collection every single day. Use this every single day. So next for lips, so... I have a couple products here, so for the liners, I really, really like the MAC liners. They honestly are not that bad, like inexpensive and really like not that bad at all and they work so well. I'm sure like everyone has used these, but I have the color Whirl and then I have the color Bure. You have to have a signature nude lip liner in your collection or else like what are you doing? What are you doing? These are my favorite. I have like the pencil and then I have the cream stick liner. So I really like both of them. I kind of like the cream stick a little bit better just because it's like a wind up one and this one you have to like keep sharpening and it's like really annoying. But they're both honestly really, really good. These retail for $21, which yes, that is a little bit pricey up there. And I thought they were cheaper. I guess they put up the prices or something. But yeah, um, these honestly work so well though. And I wouldn't use any other liner. Okay, so now for lips, I have a variety of lip products that I use all the time. I think you guys already know this also. So I have literally one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. I have eight NYX lip products. Literally, they are holy grail products. I have the butter glosses, I have the soft matte lip creams. Every single one of these shades are perfect colors. They have such pigmentation, they're so creamy, they go on, just glides on nice and smooth, they're literally perfect colors. They, I've really been liking the butter glosses recently because I like a more of a, you know, shiny lip. Um, more than like the mattes, but I really really enjoy all every single one of these So these NYX lip products all retail for $6.49 so about $7 But like I said depends where you get so these products aren't everywhere I think they only have them at like CVS well in my town anyway They have them at CVS Target. They don't have them at Walmart. I don't believe but they so like Target and CVS they really have these so they have all shades. If you guys need a new lip product, go get these. They're so affordable and they work so, so well. So yeah, guys, that concludes my all-time holy grail video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I love all, every single one of these products and although they might be a little pricey, they're so, so, so worth it and I wouldn't tell you guys anything that I wouldn't use. Every single one of these hold a place near dear to my heart because they just work so so well and I don't think I will stop using them like ever unless I found something like 
Ooh, like way better but yeah guys I hope you guys enjoyed I hope I helped you out a little bit with some products if you guys need some and yeah guys thank you guys so so much for watching please subscribe to my channel and please give it a thumbs up if you like videos like this so yeah guys thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye